religious heritage. We as God's people must come to the place of realizing there's a reason why the Bible says love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. We either love the world system or we love God. We either have a heart that is tied up in the world system or we sense the heritage that we have. God made us. He has caused us to be drawn for his purpose. He has caused us to be established to the prophets in the word. He's a God who gives his spirit and we in this moment recognize our heritage. It's amazing why words take on importance. And yet one of the most popular words today when you hear it is heritage. Whether it be a hospital or whether it be a ministry or whatever it is, heritage. For some reason, the ring sounds good to us. What is this thing that we inherit? What is our heritage? Where are our roots? Where are we established? What is secure? What doesn't shift? What are the things that we can depend on? And we have to realize that in Christ, we have a heritage. Among the time of restoration, and we've had much of that the last few years in the church, the return of belief in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the gifts in the church, on and on. We've had a sense also that God says that, that new wine is placed into wineskins that haven't been stretched. And there is a sense in our time when we look and find that our pastors are young and our congregations are young, our churches are young, our outlook is young, and we thank God for this. We thank God because pastors always will get older and congregations will always become older. But we have to realize that there is something that God has given. It is we have an inheritance. We have a heritage. There is a stability in God. We come back to him again and again. My help comes from the Lord. I'm rooted and grounded in him. There is a heritage in Christ that we ought to joy in. Many of the mistakes that we make in the church today really wouldn't have to be made if we realized that we can learn much from history. Much of that we think is new doctrine today has been around some time in history before. Much of the emphasis that we find on one thing or another can be found in history in the church prior to our time. We need to realize that God works through history, that God works through hours before our time, that we don't start this day, that we are the church that just exploded into being in some spontaneous way, and that we are saints that somehow spontaneous, we looked and we found that stir and mix, and here we are, God's people. No, we are a people that come down, we are an inheritance in this hour. We are a heritage people. God has brought us forth, but God has brought us forth not merely to be here in this moment, but to sense that God is perfecting us, that he is changing our lives. And until there is a perfection in our life, we have that which is hope, but it's not based upon truth. It's not based upon faith. And we end up being disappointed. How many people have been disappointed in the church of the living God? They've been disappointed because it is so easy to have a vision. And God is he who gives a vision. And pastors stand up in congregations and they say, and we're going to go forward and build for God. And we're going to have an old folks home and we're going to have a school and we're going to have a Bible.